Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, um, I have five dogs. I often get comments about how well behaved my dogs are, so I just wanted to share some tips with you guys um, about how to get a better behaved dog. My number one and most favorite is enrichment and slow feeders. I have probably over 70 of these. I would probably have to count. Um, I can make a separate video about that. I love Kongs and Quizzles, especially Quizzles. They're so easy to just put something in there. And so I make some like stick shaped ice cubes with some good stuff like goat's milk. Sometimes I'll add some raw meat or a little bit of treats, beef broth. And once they're frozen, they slide right in there and the dogs have to lick them out. So it takes about 30 minutes for them to finish something like this and it's so easy to do. I've also figured out a way to um, enjoy my Kongs. I used to hate the Kongs because I didn't know how to stuff them and the dogs would just give up on them. But I figured out the best way to go about the Kongs and I can make again in a different video about this. Um, but yeah, so these I just like to stuff them with not their meals but fruits and some good stuff with low calories slow feeders you would think like okay but my dog still like finishes it in two seconds but are you freezing them i freeze everything unfrozen this one can last three minutes tops frozen this one can last an hour Either if you're feeding kibble or raw, you can put it in the, the feeder and then add some beef broth or bone broth and then freeze it like that. That way they have enrichment while eating their food. Enrichment leads to a better behaved dog because it stimulates their mind and it tires them out mentally rather than only physically. Frozen enrichment can also often satisfy their need of chewing. Since I've started feeding my dogs frozen enrichment, I find that they don't feel the need to chew anything. I haven't had anything chewed up in my house. So if you have a chewer, you might want to try this. Number two is the command off, which is very similar to leave it. But when I ask my dogs to leave something, I expect them to get their nose off of what they're doing and walk away. When I say off, just stop doing what you're doing. Just get your nose out of what you're doing. You can stay there, just don't do that. Now for the command off, I usually do take whatever they have away so they don't go back to it. It's usually like a dead animal or something because we do live on a farm. Um, but for leave it, I expect them to not go back to it. That's the difference also between the leave it and the off. Number three, the command place, which we use as spot. So basically you either have a cot or a dog bed you, that you command your dog to go lay down on. So that is the place command which can be super useful in situations like either vacuuming your house and you don't want your dog in the way or if they're scared of the vacuum help expose them to it. Anyway place is just overall such a good command and if you guys want me to make a video about how to teach it um, just let me know in the comments. And number five, teach them door boundaries. Does your dog run out the door as soon as you open the door? That could be dangerous. What if you open the door one day and there's a car that passes by? Door boundaries could look like as soon as you open the door, your dog sits down. These can be easily taught. And again, if you want me to make a video, just comment and I will do my best to make a teaching video about how to teach door boundaries. Anyway, that was five tips on how to get a better behaved dog. If you want to see more or have more tips, like and subscribe.